Welcome back to another Madden NFL 25 video in which today we have a AFC and NFC conference matchup between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Chicago Bears. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I appreciate all the support as we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. So without further ado... Let's get straight into this one and see which team will come out on top. Let's get it. Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville Jaguars offense will take the field to start off the game. So let's go take a look at his stats from last year's. He had 370 out of 564 attempts, 40, 16 yards, 21 touchdowns, 2, 14 interceptions. Here on third and four, Trevor Lawrence steps back in the pocket and quickly checks it down to number 17 Evan Ingram on the play for the first down at the 40 yard line. Here on first and 10 on the play right after Trevor Lawrence steps back in the pocket and runs into the pressure as he is sacked by two Chicago Bears and this will push them back to the 29 yard line and make it a second and 20 and that was a great job by the defense to get after the quarterback and that was Daryl Taylor that comes up with the sack on the play. Here on 2nd and 20 on the play right after Trevor Lawrence quickly fires it over the middle as the pass is caught and completed for first down. It is completed to number 13 Christian Kirk who takes it right at midfield at the 50 yard line. Here on 3rd and 11 it's a play action pass and Lawrence fires it over to the left hand side of the field as the pass is dived for and caught by number 7 on the play as the Jags get into field goal range at the Bears 22 yard line and Lawrence does a great job to recognize the defense and to quickly get rid of the ball great 100 catch by number seven on the play here on third and seven Trevor Lawrence has a nice clean pocket as he checks it down towards the right side of the field pass is caught and completed to number seven on the play who gets the first down at the 12 yard line that is rookie out of LSU Ryan Thomas Jr. with the catch here on 2nd and 5, Trevor Lawrence has a nice clean pocket as he works the left side of the field. He completes the pass to number 1 on the play and that is Travis Etienne Jr. with the catch as the Jaguars put up the first points of the game here in the second quarter taking a 7-0 lead over the Chicago Bears. Great job by Etienne and great drive led by Trevor Lawrence right there. It is now time for Caleb Williams to take the field for the first time today. So let's go take a look at his stats for this year's Madden as he is a 75 overall, has 86 speed and 72 awareness. Here on first and 10 right at midfield at the 50 yard line is a play action pass as Caleb Williams will hit the crosser and complete it to number 13 Keenan Allen on the play who gets the Bears into the red zone down to the 13 yard line. And let's go take a look at the replay right there as Williams was well protected and Allen does a great job to get multiple steps in front of the defender and sidesteps another one to get a few extra yardage on that play. Here on first and 10 on the play right after Williams sits in the pocket and works it out to the right side of the field as the pass is caught and completed to number 11 on the play and that is DeAndre Carter with the reception as we are all tied up at seven apiece here in the second quarter. That was a great job by Carter to roll out towards the end of the play and get open as he gets into the end zone. Here on third and four, Trevor Lawrence has a nice clean pocket as he quickly fires it out towards the right side of the field. Pass is caught and completed to number 17, Evan Ingram, for the first down at the Bears' 36-yard line. And this puts the Jags in field goal range as we take a look at the replay right there. It was well covered, and Ingram does a great job to make the catch. Here on first and 10 on the play right after, it is a no huddle for the Jags as he hits a crossing receiver number 7 on the play who gets it to the red zone down to the 14 yard line. Here on first and 10 on the play right after, Lawrence has a nice clean pocket and works the seam as the pass is caught and completed to Christian Kirk as he dances to celebrate. The Jags will take a 14 to 7 lead over the Bears here in the second quarter with about a minute left to go here in the first half. Great job by Christian Kirk to dive to get the ball and to protect himself after the catch. 
here on second and 10. Caleb Williams steps back in the pocket and steps right into the pressure as he is sacked by Hines Allen. It'll be third and 20 for the Bears back at their 48-yard line with the clock quickly taking away. Bears get the ball to start off the second half and here on first and 10. Williams airs one out to his receiver on the left-hand side for the first down near midfield at the 47-yard line. That is number two, DJ Moore with the catch. Here on first and 10 on the play right after, Caleb Williams feels the pressure and checks it down as the pass is caught and completed to Keenan Allen, who gets it into the red zone, shaking off a defender, gets it inside the 10, down at the 7 for a Bears first and goal as we have an injury timeout on the Jags defense. Here on first and goal on the play right after Williams is under center, is in the pocket, has a nice clean one at that, and steps up to dive into the end zone as we are all tied up at 14 with a minute 56 left here in the third quarter. And let's take a look at the replay right there as the defender just misses at the line and Caleb Williams had that green grass to the end zone. Here on 3rd and 12, Trevor Lawrence has a nice clean pocket as he fires it over the middle pass is caught and completed to Christian Kirk who takes it up to the Bears 32 yard line for a first down. It'll get the Jags into field goal range as we take a look at the replay right there. Trevor Lawrence felt the pressure and does a great job to get it over the top of the linebacker and straight into Christian Kirk's hands. Here on 1st and 10 on the play right after Trevor Lawrence fires it towards the right side of the field as the pass is caught and completed to number 7 who gets inside the 5 down to the 3 for the Jags first and goal. And let's go take a look at the replay right there as Lawrence had a nice clean pocket and fits the ball perfectly into his receiver's hands for the nice first and goal situation. Here on third and goal, Trevor Lawrence has a nice clean pocket and pulls a Caleb Williams of his own as he walks it into the end zone. And the Jags will take a 21-14 lead as Lawrence dances in the end zone to celebrate. Let's go take a look at the replay right there as that was a nice clean pocket and protection from his O-line to open up the green space ahead of him. Here on 3rd and 11, Caleb Williams has a nice clean pocket as he steps back, maneuvers around it, and fires it towards the left-hand side of the field as the pass is caught and completed to DJ Moore, who takes it into the red zone down to the 11-yard line as he flexes on the defenders. Let's take a look at the replay right there. So that was great protection and a perfect drop in the bucket throw by Caleb Williams straight into the numbers of DJ Moore. Here on 2nd and 8, Caleb Williams is in the pocket as he navigates towards the right side of the heel. He breaks the tackle and takes it all the way up to the 1 yard line to make it 3rd and inches. Here on 4th and inches, Caleb Williams hands it off to DeAndre Swift who is met in the backfield at the 3 yard line. It'll be a turnover on downs and the Jags will take it over. But the Bears still have three timeouts and can get a stop on defense, can get the ball back. Bears defense hold the Jaguars to a three and out. And here on first and ten, he airs one out towards the right side of the field. But Keenan Allen slips and had lots of space. If he would have stayed on his feet, that probably would have been a house call to tie it right there. Here with 4 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter, this will be the last play of regulation as Caleb Williams finds an open tight end as he tumbles his way into the end zone we are going to be all tied up with zero seconds remaining in regulation we are going to be heading into overtime as that was a great play by the bears and a great catch and run by cole Komet on the play right there and let's take a look at the replay right there as he got contact at the one or two yard line and tumbled his way into the end zone to tie it up the Jags get the ball to start off overtime first as Trevor Lawrence is sacked back at the 23-yard line to make it second and 19. That was number 53 that comes up with the sack on the play. That is TJ Edwards right there as we take a look at the replay right there as he rips through and was a free rusher on the design halfback screen before Lawrence could get rid of the ball. 
Here on third and 19, Trevor Lawrence tries to fire it towards the left side of the field and is picked off by number 29 on the play. And the Bears can win it with a field goal or any score right here as he celebrates with his defensive teammates getting a group photo in the end zone. Let's go take a look at the replay right there as Trevor Lawrence had a nice clean pocket and tried to force the ball over the top. If he would have thrown it up, it probably would have been in the window and intercepted by the defense right there. Both teams go three and out multiple times, and I guess if you're tied in the first overtime, Madden will give you another overtime period. So there on third and six, Caleb Williams scrambles to get the first down, getting it to the 47-yard line of the Jaguars. Here on 1st and 10 on the play right after, it's a play action pass. Williams has a beautiful clean pocket and completes it over the middle to DJ Moore, who gets the Bears into field goal range at the Jaguars 30 yard line. Bears are forced into a field goal attempt right here, and if they score, they will win the game. The kick is up and good as the Chicago Bears will defeat the Jacksonville Jaguars 24-21. to Let me know in the comments below. Who do you guys think will win this game in real life, and what do you guys think the score will be? If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out, and I appreciate all the support as we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. If you're a fan of the NFL and college football, stay tuned as we'll be covering both all season long. Appreciate all the support, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.